It is Dave Jouse. You saw him on two, Monday night. The pitching phenom, he was pitching to Pete Alonzo to his victory in the MLB Home Run Derby. Uh, you took the world by storm because you were – an incredible, incredible pitcher. Let's start here. How's your arm today? Because you threw a lot of pitches last night. Um, I, I've been blessed with this right arm from the shoulder down to the fingers. Have never been hurt for 44 years. My back, my ears, my nose, of course, my head. Those things, those things are, are hurting every day. <laughs> but for some reason, I've never had a, a, a problem with my arm. And I probably threw less pitches yesterday than I do on a normal BP day. So, so how, I, I'm ready to do that all the time. How did you find out that you were really, really good at throwing batting practice? Was it because as a pitcher you got hit a lot, or did you just get into a zone? Actually, I, I didn't. I was a I was an infielder, only played in college. Um, but I had to I, when I started my managing career, which was a lot earlier than most players. Um, because it was a, it wasn't because I was hurt. It wasn't because I was wasn't looked at as a college player. We had eight guys sign contracts in the college I was at my senior year, so they were looked at. And it wasn't that I didn't have good coaching because my high school coach is in the Illinois High School Hall of Fame. My college coach is in the the College Baseball Hall of Fame, so I have good coaching. It was complete lack of talent that I had to go into <laughs> coaching and managing, and so I had to. I was the only coach and head coach and manager on my teams, both Canadian professional baseball, college baseball. And so I had to throw to every player and I also had to catch bullpens and all that. So I, I had to throw right away and I knew I could throw and, and make them a lot better hitters than I was because I could, I, I wanted them to have a chance to be confident. And I, and it started back in 1980 and I've been able to do it. And some years I throw every day of the year. Wow. I mean, you, it was, it was incredible. Uh, your location. You did hit him once. You hit Pete once. Did you? Was that a brush back? Was that like a hey? Just so you know, I'm still the boss out here. <laughs> no, and actually, when I when I threw it, our our youngest son, who's my media director right this moment, he got this computer set up and everything. <laughs> um, as a pitcher, he he drilled a lot of guys. He was a really good pitcher, but he drilled a lot of guys. And so as I hit Alonzo, the ball slipped out of my hand. I said wow, I'm like my son because I drilled him. It was the first guy I ever drilled. And then also I said in 95 when oftentimes I threw to Cal Jr. when he was breaking the consecutive streak, I used to throw to him. I said, I never hit Cal. How, how can I hit this guy? It was the first guy I'd ever hit in my life. And so I, it was not a drill back. It was a slip ball. And I couldn't believe Pete laughed about it. And the next ball, he, he yanked out of there. So it, it it was, it was kind of funny. It was I got a, actually, I got a I, I got a message from our trainer last night. The Mets trainer Brian Chicolo, great man, left me a message. Said congratulations, fun to watch you. By the way, we wonder if we're going to have to put Pete on the uh, on the IL <laughs> when he comes great. back. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> no. It was a great moment. I also I noticed you weren't wearing a hat, and I feel like you were more locked in than anyone else because of the lack of hat. Was that? Do you? <laughs> You ne do you never wear a hat when you throw BP? You you seem so much more focused than everyone else, and I swear it was partially because of the hat. I, I never wear a hat throwing BP. I always take it off. Um, I always try to take these these glasses off, um, but I, I I never wear a hat. I, I don't have any chance of having any hair ever in my eyes, so it's okay. I've saved a lot of money on on uh, on ha uh, hair dryers and shampoo in my life, yeah. so. Uh, yeah, so maybe that's that's it. But I, Dante Bichette, as a hitting coach, never wore a hat. But that's because he's got a beautiful looking face. Yeah, I got a face for a radio, so I'm I'm good on that. <laughs>